Hi guys, welcome to the Nook Cocktail Club. Today we are doing a video tutorial for one of our completely signature cocktails, the Quarantini Martini. I love this cocktail. It's a cocktail that was born in lockdown 2020. We started our home delivery service within a week of the March 2020 national lockdown and we went on to win a Great British Pub Award off the back of our home delivery service that year. So this was one of our drinks that we launched in that time to get a little bit of our personality out to our locals and now forever filled with this kit. So there's lots of Quarantini Martinis out there but there's only one of this particular Quarantini Martini and it's fabulous. So your kit contains enough for four full size Quarantini Martinis. Um, the actual recipe card makes two. So every time you follow this, it's we're making two in the cocktail shaker, but you have enough for four. Um, we've measured the ingredients, so it's a really simple um, way of making drinks. You don't need to measure anything. If you do have jiggers, you can, but we designed it so it's, it's super simple for you to measure at home. So let's get going and let's talk through what you have in your Quarantini Martini kit and then we can get making. So we have a 300ml Calvi apple juice, we have 100ml of Absolute Vodka, we have a special Nook peach and almond blend, we also have Amaretto liqueur, we have a peach schnapps, we have a little jar of cherry garnishes and we have some skewers to skewer our cherries. What do you need? You need ice, you need two martini glasses and you need a cocktail shaker. We are using a gorgeous uh, copper swirling barcraft um, shaker to make these today. I love these shakers, they have a built-in strainer, meaning you don't need to use a Hawthorn strainer, you just make the drink, you make the cocktail in the shaker and then you strain it through the top there, so super, super easy. Okay, so let's get going. Right, so we're gonna add some ice to our glasses first. We don't serve ice in the actual cocktail. We don't put any crushed in our, our ice after, like we might do a daiquiri. So we really wanna make sure these glasses are nice and chilled down. So then we're gonna add some ice to our cocktail shaker. I like to go about three quarters of the way up. And then we're gonna get pouring our ingredients. So we're gonna go apple juice first. This apple juice has a uh, three month shelf life, but once you've opened it, you do need to use it within three days. So give it a nice shake before you pour, and we are doing exactly half a bottle. Tiny bit more. Perfect, so that's the rest there for your next two. And then we're going 50 mils of vodka, so half the bottle again. Before I pour, I put my sort of thumb on the halfway line and then pour to that. And then we're going half of our peach and almond signature blend. And then we are also going half of our amaretto liqueur. and then half of our peach schnapps. Okay, bear with me 30 seconds, I forgot one important ingredient. Right, so also in this kit, we've included a um, pout of crystallized lime. This is a really ingenious cocktail ingredient. Um, we, all cocktails are usually comprised of sweet and sour elements, so we're always, when we're making cocktails, we're balancing out the sweet ingredients with sours and vice versa. We have some sweet apple juice in here, um, amaretto and our peach is very sweet, so we just want to balance out some of that sweetness with a little bit of lime. And this is a crystallised lime, so it's like having real lime at home without all the fuss. So you just basically, there's no sweetness off of this at all. It's just sour. So you just want a big pinch in there. 
going to do a tiny little bit more. You can always add more at the end if you want to have a little bit more sharpness cutting through the drink. But once you put everything in, you can't take it out. So I always recommend when you're dealing with um, sours elements and cocktails that you take it easy in the first instance. And then after you taste it at the end, if you do want a little bit more sour ingredients, add it at the end. So you have more, more than ample in there. We've put more in than what you need. So just a, a pinch, a big pinch of the crystallized lime in there. Okay, so lid on nice and tight. And then we want to shake all our ingredients really well for about 30 to 40 seconds. When the cocktail shaker starts to get really cold, a little bit too cold to handle, that's when you know everything's thoroughly mixed. Okay, so I'm starting to get a nice frosting on the tin. I know it's really mixed well. So it's a two pronged attack when we're shaking. We're shaking to mix everything thoroughly together. That's the mixing part of the cocktail. And then the second pronged attack as part of the, the, the shaking element is to chill everything down so it's super cold for you to, to, um, to taste. So we're gonna get rid of our ice that we've used to chill down our glasses. And then we're gonna pour in. Lovely, so you've got another two there. We're gonna grab a cherry and pop it on a skewer. You can just drop it into the bottom of the glass. I quite like a skewer. Nice 50s vibe there. And there we go, two Quarantini martinis. These are signature to us. This recipe is completely signature to our bar and it's really personal and we wanted to share it for a really long time and get it into kit form. So we hope you enjoy it. Have a lot of fun making it at home and yeah, enjoy. Thanks for tuning in.